there's that awe that happens when you see them. You can't describe exactly what it is, which is a, always a great thing about art, that if you can have that moment of twilight where things are either going darker or lighter and you're trying to figure them out. For Matt's time that he spent with Jean, being able to protect these pieces was a, it was a great thing for him. He just had the knack for being at the right place at the right time. Their friendship was about being contemporaries because my brother was the guy who had his finger on the pulse about what was going on in Los Angeles. Everybody was attracted to him because he was easygoing, interested in having fun, not judgmental, you know, and it was attractive for people. We had a club that was on Washington Boulevard in the south part of Los Angeles. It was open to everyone, and it had a very communal space, and it was not often that that happened in Los Angeles. Same thing for the music itself. It was a mixture. It was the New York thing in Los Angeles. Their painting of the doors, like most things with the genre, came about just kind of on the spur of the moment. Living with these pieces, I believe, he felt a moment in time was frozen for both of their lives that was now, in reflecting, important. It's like a lost love and the card that you hold from that. <laughs> How else to describe it?